this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 239. Welcome. Okay, so I have several finished objects to show you for today and just one works in progress. So let's get started and I'll show you what I got done. <laughs> okay, so uh, for my finished objects, I wanted to show you this one. I forgot to show it to you. It's something I made for my husband as a stocking stuffer uh, at Christmas. And I forgot to show it to you. And I, I saw it today because he has it sitting on the, the fireplace mantle. And so I saw it today and I was like, oh, I didn't show it yet. I didn't show it to you all. And so I thought I'd show it to you because it's cute. <laughs> Okay, so um, my husband likes possums, <laughs> and so I found this pattern. It is a paid-for pattern. I found it on Etsy. I'll link it below in the description box, but it, it, it is a paid-for pattern, but it doesn't cost very much. It's like $2 and something, I think if I remember right, <laughs> but I'll put a link below in the description box. Anyway, it was just so cute. I couldn't resist it, so here it is. <laughs> so here is the possum. <laughs> I thought it was really cute and I love the way it the feet and everything is all worked in. I believe yeah, I didn't I didn't have to sew that. I was thinking no, the 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 feet are bobble stitches and so they're like worked into the pattern. I did not have to sew the feet on. Um you have to sew on the tail and the ears. Yeah. And everything else is just stitched in as you went along. Anyway, I just thought it was so cute. And so, um, I, I made, made it and I stuck it, <laughs> I stuck it into his, um, stocking. So anyway, so that is finished object number one. Okay. So the rest, I did finish this past week, stuff I worked on. Okay. So my next finished object is the poo blanket. This is the baby blanket that I've been working on that's going to be given this upcoming weekend as a baby shower gift. And last week I had showed you that I had gotten this center image done, but I was working on the border and I finished the border. And so I wanted to show it to you since I've got it now complete. Okay, so let me see here. Make sure I've got it going the right way. I think I do. <laughs> so here is the poo blanket. All the way finished. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it turned out to be, let me see if I'll try to measure it up against my, my ruler I have here on the table. Uh, with the border, I got it to be about 31 inches before I think the, the, the width of it, the short width, was 27. And so I got it to up to 31 inches by 35. So not bad. <laughs> I think that's a much better size. I think I had the original with just the image was um, 27 inches by 31 or 32 or something like that. So I was able to... Um, get a little bit more uh, size to it by putting the border. Now this is, if you can see the stitches there, it is just a alternating, it's like a ribbing border that I found. Now uh, the border I found, it was a, a corner to corner blanket tutorial that I used <laughs> and I just used the border part of it because uh, you know of course I had done the the inner the center part already but anyway I will link that video below in the description box the tutorial I just skipped the head skipped ahead to the where the border was and I used her border and so anyway it's a ribbing type border and I just did you just do like front post uh, back post um, I think she does double crochets, but I, since I'm doing this project in the mini corner to corner um, stitch, I used half double crochets. So when I did the, the uh, border, instead of doing double crochets like she did, I just used half double crochets. <laughs> anyway, it's just alternating back, back post and then front post. Uh, half double crochet is what I did. And I did... Um, I did, let's see, I think that's three rounds because I did the first one in blue and then I did the next round the same, doing the same thing in the brown, S same brown as I used for the outlining. And then I did one more round um, doing the same thing in the blue and then the only thing I did is I finished it off uh, with a single crochet round around the whole thing, um, continuing with the blue. 
So that's what I did for the border. Anyway, so this is all ready to go. So I'm glad for that. I'm glad I got finished with that. Um, and so this is uh, finish object number two. Okay, so finish object number object <laughs> number three is um, I'm uh, I'm on a baby octopus kick. <laughs> um, I don't know if did I show it to you last week that I did. Or did I? I can't remember. I might have showed it to you where I had done some of it and hadn't finished it. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, I have gotten four finished now because they are so cute. And they are, to me, they are addictive. <laughs> uh, I had a a ball, a leftover ball of some baby yarn. I think it's the one that's called Jamie yarn. I don't know if that's Lion Brand, but it's, it's, it's an older type yarn. And it was a pink variegated where it was like dark pink, light pink, and white all variegated together. And so I had just a small ball of it. Um, when I was doing kind of a yarn cleanup and I thought, oh, well, that would be cute. I like that variegated to make some of these backpack buddies that I've been making. And, um, this it's, it's a baby weight yarn, but it's like, um, uh, it's like a three weight yarn. You know, it's, it's, um, really, but it's thin for three, for a three weight or DK weight, but it's very thin. And so, uh, I used a three millimeter hook and, um, yeah, to make it. And and since it turned out so small, I decided not to um, make them into backpack buddies. They're just like little pocket octopus babies, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, so here they are. There's number one. I just think they, he turned out so cute, just the pink and white and the way it variegates the colors. So there's number one. <laughs> Here's number two. And they're all just a little bit different because they're started at a different point in the yarn. Here's number three. This one's got more white on it. <laughs> it's so cute. And see, I put little smiles on all of them. And here is number four. And I think he's, she <laughs> is my favorite because it's got the dark pink on the top. Anyway, these are so cute. And I, like I said, I just couldn't resist and couldn't stop making them because they're just so cute. <laughs> So let me see if I can get them all together and I'll show them to you. Oh, nope. I can't get them all on my hand. Let's see. I'll have to hold one. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. So I've been having so much fun making these little girls I guess they're girls I don't know <laughs> and I have I still have more of this pink and white yarn so I may continue on or maybe I'll do some jellyfish or something in the same color I don't know um, I will probably give these put these in the box that I'm collecting for um, items for the Garfield make along for Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet more than likely I will throw these in here but of course I'll have to keep one for myself <laughs> um, so anyway I'll talk a little bit about them again in just a minute but anyway let's go on let's see oh and and this is a free pattern um, I will link it below where you can find it but it's free I can't remember what it's called Raven something I always forget that website but anyway I will link it below <laughs> okay uh, and the fourth finish object that I have is this is so cute. It is the first preemie hat for 2022. So here is my first preemie hat all done and ready to be put in my box for um, the, the preemie hat donations that I do each year. So this is preemie hat number one for 2022. <laughs> this pattern is the Mike hat or you know like from Monsters Inc and it is from hopefulhoney.com she's got some really cute hats the hat actually was a supposed to be a three to six month size hat and so it called for like um two hook sizes it called for a five millimeter and a six millimeter and so what I did is instead then what would that be five and six that's an H and a J, yeah. And so what I did is to make it, um, and I think it did call for DK weight yarn, which is what this is. But what I did is instead of using a uh, five millimeter and a six millimeter, I used a three millimeter and a 3.5 millimeter. So that's what I used to get it down smaller, uh, which would be more preemie sized. 
Anyway, I really love this pattern. It's so cute. <laughs> so anyway, that is all my finished objects. Um, yeah, so the only works in progress I have is the gift that's going to be going along with the poo blanket, and it is the Eeyore. <laughs> and so uh, I have got him almost finished, as you can see. He doesn't have a face yet. I haven't done that because you put, you make sleepy eyes on him, so you just stitch him on. And so I haven't done that yet. And then uh, I have to make his mane, and I have to I, I do have his tail, but I haven't attached it yet. And then on the end of the tail, I have to cut some little strands of black to attach to the end. So I got to do cut a bunch of strands to get his mane rooted in. Or attached, I don't know if it's rooted, but anyway, attached, and then some for the end of the tail. I had to sew the tail on, and I have to stitch on his eyes. But anyway, he's so cute. Got all the pieces, as you can see. I always leave a few strings just in case I need to adjust anything, like the connections, you know, uh, before I cut them off completely and weave them in. So that's what those are. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think he's so cute. I will pop in a picture right here of the, the other Eeyore that I made. So you'll see what he looks like with his eyes and everything. So here is that. Okay, so there you go. So that's what Eeyore is going to be looking like. I will be giving him as a gift this weekend as in part of this baby shower gift. They will be receiving the Winnie the Pooh blanket and the Eeyore together for their gift. Um, and so I will be doing that. Um, so you won't be seeing him all the way finished but I mean you saw a picture of the other one that I made so you know what he's going to look like. <laughs> um, so I, uh, because I wouldn't be giving, to, giving it to them this weekend. So anyway, so there's the works in progress. And that's all of works in progress I've done as far as um, crocheting goes. I have done a little bit of sewing, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I've been itching to do a little sewing, and I hadn't in a while. <laughs> and so I'm happy that I was able to get some sewing done this weekend. Uh, started a few... Um, tote bags. I have three in progress and uh, I really like the prints, the, the colors, the the prints of the fabric <laughs> that I'm using is turning out really cute. Um, and so, uh, like I said, I did get a, I did get a little sewing done, so I'm, uh, nothing finished, but um, got a good start on them. <laughs> um, and so, and that, that goes along with the, one of the goals that I set for the for me for this year that I wanted to sew at least one day a week so you know and so um so I've done that I, well I've actually sewed a little bit more than not a whole day but I'll like sew for maybe an hour or so just you know when I have the time and then I'll I'll stop and then you know sew some more on it later but anyway um been enjoying that <laughs> okay um so let's go on to purchases. I have a few purchases that I've recently made and I wanted to show you. Uh, this one I got off of Amazon. This was uh, some more of my Christmas money that I had received from my father-in-law. Uh, he gave me an amount that I was able to buy my cordless, I don't think you can see it back there, but it's a cordless iron. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it. I've already started using it, so I really like it. And so I was able to get that with the money that he gave me, and then I also picked up this. I thought it was a book, but it's actually a crochet kit. But that's good. <laughs> anyway, this in like I said, it's off Amazon. I'll link if you want to look at the purchases that I made of the that iron or this crochet kit I'm back to show you. Um, I will link below in the description box an affiliate link for Amazon that you can click through and, and you can um, take a look at them if you want to. Anyway, so this is what I bought. So it's called Ka Kawaii. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, Kawaii Animal Cuties. And so that's what I thought I was getting. I thought I was just getting the, the uh, book. And I thought, oh, these are so cute. And here's some more on the back, some more of the characters. There's like uh, 12 characters. Yeah, the patterns. And so that's what I was thinking I was getting was just this spot, uh, the book. And so when I got it, I found out that it's actually a kit. And so you get the book. So here's the book. See all the pages. And let's see. 
and then you get here's a picture of what's in the kit but you get yarn and everything and you get enough yarn and it comes with a crochet hook oh it even comes with a uh, yarn needle everything you need the instruction book everything in order to make two characters i think let's see i believe yeah you get the um, the yarn and everything you need to make the sloth right there and then this uh puppy right here that to me i thought that was a fox but it's not a fox it's called a shiba puppy s-h-i-b-a i guess that's a breed of dog <laughs> i don't know but anyway uh i thought it looked like a fox to me but anyway so i got the yarn to make the sloth and this puppy right here and the other characters that you that you get the patterns for you get um let's see where is the table of contents Okay, so you get the sloth, the, sh the that Sheba right there, okay? But then you also, let's see, there's a pug, which is there. <laughs> a corgi, which I don't know if there's a picture of the corgi anywhere. But you get a pat, you get it. no, I don't see it. Okay, so a corgi, a fat cat, which is this one right here. <laughs> um, a raccoon right there. And uh, otters. Right there, baby otters. A raptor, which is this, I believe. <laughs> uh, an owl. I know that's on the front. The owl right there. Um, a cockatiel right there. And a narwhal and a baby seal. Well, here's the seal right there. It's like a harbor seal. Is what that is? And narwhals on the back. <laughs> yeah, right here. Okay, so anyway, I, I saw, the, uh, which I thought was a book, but I thought it would be cute characters for the Garfield make-along for like backpack buddies or whatever. So that's why I went ahead and picked up this, and then I was surprised, pleasantly surprised, but that it was a kit instead. So it gets got, I have yarn to get me started on the first couple of items. Now, I'm not going to be doing this like I did last year and the year before when I had a crochet kit and I was told myself I'd make one once a month and stretch it out the whole year. I don't plan on doing that. I'm just going to make them whenever I want to make them. So, um, less pressure that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that is the purchases of that. Oh, and then Joanne Fabrics had a sale on fabric and Christmas fabric after Christmas. A lot of it was sold out when I was looking at it. This was online. But I was able to get two pieces of fabric, and I had to buy, it was a minimum of two yards, but I was thinking it would be cute fabric for maybe the liner of some Christmas bags, or um, even the outers, I guess. But anyway, I just, they were cute. So let me show you the print. I've got, they're all nicely folded still. Anyway, it was this one with the little gingerbread cookie men, <laughs> the little gingerbread men and the uh, peppermint sticks. Or candy canes. I thought that was a really cute print. So I got two yards of this and then this one I thought was really cute too. It's Christmas trees but it's made with that like zigzag pattern. See that? So I thought that was kind of, it was an interesting print. I like that. So um, like I said I can use them as I got two yards of that also but I can use them as um, linings for bags that's what i think i'm going to be using them for <laughs> anyway so that is my purchases um let's see so upcoming um this upcoming is st wednesday is stitch your library um we're the voting is still going on for my next project for that uh, collaboration that I'm doing with Rebecca of Yarn and Pajamas. So if you haven't voted yet on which project I should work on next, then I will link, uh, that would be Stitcher Library episode number nine. And so I will link that below in the description box so you can go over there and cast your vote for which project I'm going to work on next. Because this upcoming Wednesday, I will, uh, before I do the video on Wednesday, I will tally up the votes and uh, let you know. And then in the when I'll do the video, I will tell you what project won the vote and get started on it. So that'll be fun. I'm anxious to see. I think I know what's winning just by looking at what the how it's working out right now. But um, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, come back on Wednesday and you will find out who the win final, you know, the winner, the tallying, the final results are. <laughs> okay, so that is upcoming this next Wednesday. That will be Stitcher Library episode number 10. 
Uh, let's see. What else is upcoming? Oh, uh, I'm going to try to participate in Yarn Bingo this year, or at least sometime. I went ahead and printed out the January Yarn Bingo sheet. This is a Facebook group. Uh, it was started originally by Llama Mama Kayla, and she was doing this yarn bingo where she was putting this calendar out each month, and then we try to, um, it's like we try to make the items that are listed, or suggestions that are listed on here. And it's just for fun. There's no prizes or anything. It's just kind of like a self-challenge type thing. I know Carrie Penny, of the Happy Happy. Happy Crafty Homemaker, I think that's right. Uh, she has done really well. She, I mean, there's months, most months that she will, and she does like a review at the end of the month, and she'll go through all of them, and she will like, I don't know, what do you call that, blackout? No, I don't think that. I don't think that's the word but anyway she'll do every item on the page and and she does it almost each month she's able to uh, do everything on there and so um, I don't know if I will do everything on here but um, I think it's just it's something fun to do and I've already gotten a few things X off here that I have completed and so what I was saying that I was talking more about the octopus because for an example let me give you an example of how it works one of them of the squares here it says make something for yourself and you love it so much you need to make another one to give to someone special and so I'm going to uh, I X'd it and so I'm claiming that this is these little octopuses <laughs> that I made I'm going to keep one for myself and I love it so much that I made more and I'll probably make more <laughs> um, that I will give to someone special, which is this, the the special children. Uh, well, all children are special, but the the elementary children that the the Garfield Elementary for the Garfield Make Along. So that qualifies for that square. <laughs> and so I have that one. I have the free space. Um, finish a whip over here is my poo blanket. Uh, there's another finish a whip right here. That was the turtle pillow that I did for uh, Stitcher Library. So that's kind of giving you an example of how it goes. So I've got I've got a few of them um, xed off. So we'll I'll come back at the end of the month and if I keep up with this, and then I will tell you what I did for each one. So if you are interested in playing along with this yarn bingo, like I said, there's no prizes. It's just something for fun. Uh, uh, Robin uh, is the one that took over, I forget her YouTube channel, but the channel name, she because she recently changed the ch her channel name, but I will link her channel below in the description box. She is, uh, was um, so awesome to take over this task for, from uh, Kayla of Llama Mama Kayla, and so she's been uh, still putting these yarn bingo um, things out, uh, calendars out, and so there is a Facebook group um, that's called Yarn Bingo, I think, and I will link that group that you can join uh, below in the description box so you can check it out as well. It's, it's just fun to do. Anyway, so I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be trying to work on that this month as I'm doing my projects just to see if I can get any of that qualify for any of that. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think so. Oh, I did want to talk about my uh, yarn, uh, my, my craft room tour. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but we're still tweaking the lights and I think I've got we've got the lights set up pretty well I've got the background lit up a lot better you can see all the different colors back there I think that's looking good as far as I can tell I'll find out when I when I edit this and look at it after it's uploaded so we'll see but I think it's looking pretty good um, it's a challenge with somebody with glasses because of the the uh, reflections that's on, my, on the glass that you have to take into consideration on the glasses so sometimes it's kind of hard to get the lights in the right spot. <laughs> but anyway, so we've been working on that. Um, besides that, my yarn room is done. I was telling you that, or had mentioned before that I wanted to do a yarn room tour. I meant to do it at the beginning of this week. Didn't get to it. Uh, but the week's not over yet. I, I'll try to do it, and maybe I can get it up this weekend. Um, or... Well, today's Thursday, so we'll see. But um, I, I still want to do it, though. Um, and so that is would be upcoming <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, I think that's it. So I guess I'll go. I have to, oh, what's for dinner? How about that? Let's do a what's for dinner segment. I, that's always fun. <laughs> um, I'm thought, I thought out some um, hamburger meat. I'm going to make some sort of thing with hamburger meat and a can of cream of mushroom soup. And I don't know can't remember what it's called, but it's a recipe I was going to try. And it's with some noodles. And it just sounded like some good com uh, creamy comfort comfort food and then I don't know I have some okra and um, I have to figure out what size something green to have on the side uh, but I think it's going to be good oh and how about corn on the cob I've got some of that anyway that's what for dinner sort of <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway I'm going I'm going to go because I need to go get that started cooking um, and edit this so thanks so much everybody for joining me today for yarn joy podcast um I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for those that have subscribed. Welcome to the new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and uh, follow me along on all the projects and things that I work on. Uh, I also do tutorials. I haven't done any in a while, but I need to get back to doing it once I get a good idea for one. <laughs> so, um, I really appreciate all of you and I enjoy all of your comments that you leave for me. I thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video. Bye.